you don't just wake up one day and uh, build a fighter jet, right? Um, there are many of these small, small, small components that are required. You need to uh, do sheet metal casting. You need to do uh, you need to do precision manufacturing, metal casting, and you, do, you need to do so much precision stuff, right? So the, the, the stuff that I found was there's a lot of precision manufacturing that's required, a lot of CNC machining, a lot of this like lathe work, a lot of these kind of things that are needed. You need a lot of raw materials as well. I spoke about this in one of the early episodes about composites. So I went to one of these composite factories in Chennai. Um, so I was able to see what kind of materials they're playing with. They're, they're trying out a lot of this like carbon fiber mixed with uh, something else. And then that is being 3D printed. Um, you don't have to be very big to do that. Um, you can still have a couple of these 3D printing machines that are able to work with carbon fiber. And then you can do forging, you can do sheet metal work, you can do a lot of this basic shipbuilding work. So there are all of these like tiny shipbuilding companies that are based in Jamnagar. Uh, they are not that big, right? Um, so there is a lot of stuff that's happening at the SME segment as well. But there are also a couple of other things that are happening, right? So um, there are two things. First of all, um, there's an entire list of items that the government of India has said that has to come from SMEs. So first of all, there's that. Um, whether or not that will actually happen is a big question mark. Uh, but you guys can go on the internet, you can do some research, you'll be able to find these lists. There are like thousands of items on those lists, right? And those items need to be procured from MSMEs. So for startups, there is one thing called Innovations for Defense Excellence, which is called IDEX, uh, which is basically provides a framework for these startups to be incubated. And then it gives that infrastructure that they need in order to start making products for the defense, right? Um, so apparently there are more than 50 startups that are currently developing fit for military technologies. This could be anything. Um, one thing that I just realized is that we're talking a lot about hardware. There's also the entire software side of it that we have not discussed at all. And I have, I know a couple of people who are working on that software part of it also, um, who are working on the IoT part of it. Because the defense also needs a lot of uh, sensors, a lot of IoT stuff also. That too, we've not even discussed, yeah. <laughs> right? Because right now we're only talking about manufacturing. But another part of this whole story is also exports, right? So we're talking about how they, they built exports from 1,500 crores to 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 crores. How have they done it? One thing that, again, this is this is a route that I have used for exports for my business is talking to the consulate in that country. So like, let's say I want to export to Bolivia, talking to the Indian consulate in Bolivia, uh, talking to the commercial attache. And from what I have read, the commercial attaches at these uh, consulates have been given, have been told to focus on defense companies. That if you have a defense company that's coming to you, head them out even more. Um, so there are there is this more push from the government to be able to help uh, Indian companies with exports. And there's obviously there's uh, lines of credit and funding as well that you can get um, in these deals. But this entire different part of it is called what is called the make procedure. And this entire make procedure was built to help MSMEs and smaller companies basically, uh, to sell to the DRDO, to the Ministry of Defense and all that stuff, right? To the Air Force, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll very quickly talk about this make stuff uh, very briefly. I think there are three sort of categories within make. Make one is basically 90% government funded. So the government funds the project. Um, and this is for, you know, tanks and communication devices and infantry combat vehicles um, or something, you know, other critical things related to uh, the Air Force. So these are funded. This is called Make One Center funded, and uh, they supply directly to to you know the, the Indian Armed Forces. They obviously collaborate with domestic vendors through tenders, but this is primarily government funded. The Make Two is where yeah. the private sort of comes in, which is it deals with prototype systems, subsystems, uh, and this is mainly for substitution or as innovative solutions. So substitution is anything that we were already sort of importing. It substitutes that or something that's completely innovative, which probably might be more on the software and IoT side of things, um, where these companies are not government funded at all. Uh, this is completely private funded. And uh, the, the, the government sort of approves these projects um, as 
there are two stages i think there is an exploratory stage which is the government has approved it and now it's being explored and there's something called as an approval in principle i think there are 68 projects that are now currently in approval in principle probably slightly more since we last did the research and seven projects that are in the exploratory stage